Hi there. Okay. Sid, nice to meet you. Hi Nick, welcome Hi. to our kitchen garden. This is a nice little spot you have here. How big is the garden here? Uh, I'm not sure exact size. No, but I mean, the the, uh, um, how much variety of things you grow here? Uh, we've got dozens and dozens and dozens of varieties of things. Um, We've got lettuces, we've got root vegetables, uh, we've got fruit trees that we've put in um, in the last year, so we're really trying to cover as many bases wow. as we can for all our produce. Uh, we've got special um, plantings that the chefs have decided that we want to put in, so mm -hmm. special things that we want to use as we go through our weeks, and as they're coming in, we're getting fuller and fuller on our stocks of things that we want to play with. So the cause we try and pick around the edges um, so that we can get the plant itself continues up. Okay. So uh, just so the base of the leaf. Yeah, just the bottom of the leaves and you pull it down mm. slightly, it will pop off. So we just try and pick around the edges. It helps us to get maximum um, production out of the plant. For 36 years, my mom has been trying to make me eat my veggies, and now I'm plucking the veggies off the garden mm. and eating it. Mm. The things we do for TV. Lovely root vegetable. Mm. Um, it's a very similar to potatoes. They act very much the same way that potatoes do. The stuff that we normally get from our fruit and veg suppliers skin's a lot thicker, a lot tougher, okay. whereas ours has got a nice little crunch to it still, so we leave a lot of the skin on, um, so we get that nice earthy flavour mm. into what we're doing. Do you want them to cook through, or do you want them to just kind of get caramelised on the outside? And... Yeah, we want them to get a nice little colour on the outside, and they'll start to get soft, but we still want them to be nice and firm, yeah. so they've got that little bit yeah. of crunch. Um, the Jerusalems will act the same as well. We want them to, the salt on the chicken skin will bring out the fat and it'll bring out that flavor. Mm. And we want that to come out so that it will spark on the grill. That little bit of smoke will add a little bit of extra flavor um, and we get a nice crust, a nice color. Um, and we want all that smoky fat to go back into it as well. What is that? It's just chicken stock. Um, okay. The handle's a bit hot, so. We'll just add a little bit in. For a change, I'm getting excited by greens. That's the first for me. So this is just limestone coast feather, so down the coast. So we're pretty much good to go. Thanks very much. It was a good thing we went to Jacob's Creek because we learned so much about wines, how they are grown, how they are processed, how they finally get into the bottle and the different kinds of wine. What do you actually feel when you sip a glass of wine? I couldn't make out the differences between every single sip. Siddharth could make out that after his second sip he felt something changing. That all I couldn't make out. But I could make out the differences between the wines. The fruitiness, the earthiness, the texture on your palate. See, I'm talking fancy also. And then the second was the cooking class. This was all go to the garden, pick up the leaves, pick up the salad that you want to cook. There was no fancy preparation. It was just all thrown onto the barbecue and it tasted superb.